you. Good evening, everybody. Good evening, everybody. God is good, ain't he? God is good. You know, I, 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 was, I was sitting around the day, and, and I was sort of talking, and, uh, and I was praying. I said, you know what, God? You something else. I said, you are something else. He, I, 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 I said, you, you something else. You, you my healer? Then you're something else. <laughs> you're my deliverer. <laughs> you're something else, God. And I, and it just amazed me just how many things. I kept on saying that, and I run out of, I didn't run out of things. I couldn't think of that because he, he's just everything. He's, he's just everything, you know. Lord, he's he the Lord of Lord and King of Kings, you know. Praise <laughs> the Lord. Yeah, yeah, he is the great I am. <laughs> yes, sir, he is the lily of the valley, the bride in the morning star. Yes, sir. He is. The, he is. Matter of fact, he said, "If you call on me, if you call on me and me believe it, he said he'll say, here I am.' Glory to God. <laughs> Ain't that good? <laughs> That's good. Well, you know tonight, I, I, I just thank God for the opportunity to be, just to be here, really, just to be alive. Cause he, you know, his, his, he let me know that his, his grace." Huh? In his mercy, he re he refreshed it early this morning. He refreshed it. And gave, gave, not only did he refresh, but he gave us strength. He gave us strength to be able to get up. Get up. Move around. I just thank him for it, you know. And, and if he, in other words, hear somebody, if he didn't do nothing else after then, Lord, I thank you. Hallelujah to your name, God. Hallelujah. Father God, we thank you right now, Lord God, for for opportunity to 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 come before your people, God. We thank you, Lord God, for this opportunity to have ears to hear, Lord. Oh God, we thank you for that, Lord God. As we come before you, Lord, we are who we are. You know who we are, God. You know our hearts and you know our minds, God. And Lord God, we just want to tell you, thank you for it, God. And Lord, whatever you want done, God, here am I, Lord God. Oh God, I open my mouth and you do what you say what you say, Lord. Because these are your people, God. And I am your child, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Well, y'all can, uh, we're going to start off in Matthew today, tonight. Matthew, I think it's the, uh, Matthew 6. We're going to start off around the, uh, uh, let me see what, what verses I got here. Now, let me get to it. That'll be all right? Let me get up Matthew 6. We're going to wind up on 6, 30, 6 and 33, but just before we get there, it ain't, it ain't don't have a lo whole lot to uh, to do. I just had to read it because it, 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 it just done something for my soul, you know. And we're going to start in Matthew 6 and 30. Amen? And Matthew, it says, 30 says, Wherefore, if God so clothes the grass of the fields, which today is, and tomorrow is cast into the oven, shall he not much more clothe you? O ye of little faith. Thank you, Lord. 31 says, Therefore, take no thought, saying, What shall we eat? Or what shall we drink? Or wherefore all shall we be clothed? 32 says, For after all of these things do the Gentiles seek, hallelujah, they seek, for your heavenly Father knows ye have need of all of these things. Ain't that something? But seek, this is the text, right? And this is the, the main scripture now. 33 said, but seek ye first the kingdom of God. Seek thee first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all these things shall be what? They'll be added unto you. Seeking, seeking, seeking God's kingdom. His kingdom, his kingdom. Seeking the kingdom first. And then his righteousness. What is his righteousness? It's the way we're supposed to live. Righteousness is holy. We live in a holy way. We live to be an example. We live to be, be the light. That's what we live for. Because we're in his righteousness. And ain't no darkness in him, so we're in righteousness. Amen? 
I, and I and I love that part because because uh, uh you know the reason that first started off with the first part of that was we got a God that knows us. We got a God that we ain't got to tell him what he what we need. He already know what we need. But I heard the word said that he wants you to remind him of what he say. In other words, he want to hear it out of your mouth. He want to hear it out of your spirit what you need. But he already know. So the stuff the where I'm trying to get at tonight is, you know, we, we act like God's word sometimes is so hard. It's hard. We can't do this and we can't do that. And we do a whole lot of things, a whole lot of things to to try to make up or try to get something done. Or we think we need to go this way and we need to go that way. But, you know, sometimes but when I read this scripture right here, it makes, it makes me think ain't nothing hard. It ain't hard. The only thing is hard is your faith ain't strong enough. The only thing hard you don't believe. Because he tell me when I if I seek his kingdom and all of his righteousness, everything else will be added unto me. So they go my clothes, they're my food, they're my place to lay my head. There's there's and not on not he that's just the natural stuff. But he got all the love and it, 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 for us to love one another. He got all that's in the righteousness. Love one another. Treat one another right. Care for one another. All that is in that righteousness. And we live a life that we won't be talked about in the worldly way. We won't be talked about. And we don't talk, be talked about or people see how we live. Amen. And see, and that pleases God. That pleases. And do, do you know pleasing God brings your blessings? Now, I can't hear nobody say pleasing God. Bring your blessings. And the blessing that he and the blessing that come from him, the Bible tell me they come from above. A, 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 a gift, the gift comes from above and it comes without a shadow. Ain't nothing with it. God just do it because he loves you. That's the only reason he just doing it because he loves you. And you are his. You are part of him. You got a mind like him. Hallelujah. You got a mind like him. So he knows exactly what you want. He knows what you need. And, I, and I, I couldn't think of a better thing than to put, put your life or we put our lives in his hand and give him full control. I don't even want to be a co-pilot. Lord, I'm yours. Whatever you say. That, that's, that's the kind of life. Let me, let me see. That's the kind of life I want to live. And the only way I'm going to live it, then the topic, if I had to use the topic for tonight was, put your faith in the word of God and grow. Put your faith in the word of God and grow. Because the more words you get, good God of mine, the more words you get, the better you're going to be. The more words you get, the closer you're going to be to God. The more words you get, it causing you to be like him. Amen? Because he told us to have what? The mind of what? The mind of Christ. So put your faith, put your faith in the word of God. And the reason I say that, because there's a lot of things said, but I believe in First John what it says. The word, the word, in the beginning was the word. The word of God, the word was God and the word was with God. That's telling me that's God. So you put your, your faith in that word. Amen. You put that faith in that in his word. And you grow. But the only way you can do that now is when you put that faith in the word, you got to know that what God said in his word, you got to be believe that word. It got to be genuinely and actively affecting in your life. To believe that that word that you read is true. And the promise God made you is yours. It's yours. Well, I, I, I come up short, I come up. You don't know, you, you might come up short. No, you coming up short in your mind. 
Because he told me whatever you do or whatever you waiting on for him to do. He said, wait. Be patient. And while you're waiting, keep on doing what you're doing. In other words, you give it to me, leave it with me. And you go on and do what you're going to do because I got it. I got it. And I just thank God. I just thank God in that. I don't want to get ahead of myself. <laughs> Lord have mercy. But God, somebody say God is good. God is good. And, and you know, I, when I think about it, when, his, uh, when it says seek first the kingdom of God, I thought about that word seeking. Seek is sought after, search for, to request, to try, aim. That's my goal. Just, just, just seek him. Just seek him. If you seek him, then you're going to get to know him. If you seek him, you're going to be able to get his wisdom, his knowledge, and his understanding. And that way, when you when you put that, take that word and 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 put take the word, glory to God, Hallelujah, Jesus. When you take your faith and put it in the Word of God, come on now, it'll work for you. It'll work for you. How many believe that tonight? How many believe that tonight? You know, I'm a, I'm a Hebrews Hebrews eleven six. Hebrews eleven six. This is this is the part that I know. When you put that faith where it's supposed to be, it'll work. Hear the word. John, you can hear me? Praise God. Hebrews 11 and 6. And Hebrews 11 and 6 said, But without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that comes to God must believe that he is who? Huh? You must believe. And he is a reward of what? Of who? The diligent seeking. Diligently seeking. You know, and, and it makes me think about it, say, you know, do you, really, do you realize that once you seek God's word, and you hear that word, and you learn that word, do you know you're responsible for that word? You're responsible for it now. Because if you if you got that, if you done learn the word, and that word is in you, thank you, Lord, and that word is in you, well, if the only way somebody don't know that word is in you, for you to for is for you to be an example, right? That's the only way. That's what it's for. It's, it ain't just for you to get it and hold it and hold it. That's when that testimonies and all come. You tell other people about. About, about the God. That's what the word is. The word is to be to be processed alone. It's supposed to be passed on through you, through us. Why? Because we took our faith and put it in the word of God. Amen? Amen. So we be responsible for so word you become responsible for, for it to make sure that you become a doer of the word. And not a here only. Amen? Amen. Thank you, Lord. All right. We're going to move right on. We're going to do Matthew 7 and 7. This is what that, when you put the word, when you put your faith in the word, this, this is the things that comes out of it. This is the things that he desires us to do for him. Amen? In, our, in all our seeking, in all our seeking, we're seeking for him. We're see, seeking to get him. We're seeking, seeking to know him. Amen? All right. Matthew 7, 7 says, Ask, and it shall be what? Given to you. Seek, and you what? All right, then. Knock, and it shall be open to you. Now, ain't that something? It sounds like it's hard sometimes, don't it? But I, I let me speak for myself. Sometimes I can try to speak for everybody. Let me speak for myself. Sometimes when when I want God to do something, I want something and all. Uh, 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 you know, it, it seems like I guess the, the hard part is because I don't have the patience. I guess the second part is my faith ain't as strong as it should be in that area. Amen? It ain't as strong as it should be. I, I can only speak about me. You, you get what I'm saying? 
so so when 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 I ask God for something and I don't I don't and it don't happen when I think it should or where I think it should, Amen. Then then I I'm, I'm just be honest. Sometimes I get a little wavy right there, Amen. But see, I got I I, I learned. I'm, I'm 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 glad he he give me a mind like he get 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 uh the young man in the horse pen, in the hog pen, when he was needing. I'm glad he gave me that that kind of mind. He brought it back, and I remember. And in other words, I when I come to my senses, when I came to my senses, I say, uh uh-uh, uh, no, God is God, and I believe God. I believe what He say. I believe what He said I could have. Amen. So I begin to speak God's word, and it it begin to something begin to change in my spirit. Hallelujah. Something getting this change in the spirit. I get a, a sometime you feel like you're getting light, or sometime it don't feel as good. Sometime the joy come. The joy come. When the joy come, then you begin to you begin to feel all right. All right. Like, hey, that burden there is lifted. Amen. But now I had to have enough faith in God for it to come through. Amen. I'm not gonna oh, come on, be with me now. Don't leave me yet now, because we got a while to go. Amen. All right, but I believe that what Jesus is telling us right here is to be persistent in our pursuing, in our seeking, and in our faith. He wants us to be persistent in our pursuing. God people often give up. This is what I was just talking about. God people often give up after a few half-hearted efforts and conclude that God cannot be found. But you know what I'm going to say right there? The devil is a liar. The devil is a liar. God is. God is who he say he is. Hallelujah. And you know what ain't one better than that? I believe it. Who believe it with me tonight? Who believe it with me? I believe it. God is. He just want us to continue. Uh, He want us to continue he wants us to be committed. He wants us to make them sacrifices to be able. See, here go. I heard somebody, it's a teacher's journey now. It's a teacher's journey. And if your mind ain't made up, glory to God, if your mind ain't made up, just like you say, you ain't going to put everything in it. You ain't going to put it in it because if it don't come when you want it, you're going you gonna to try to do something for yourself. Amen? Amen. Okay, but no, but no, knowing God takes faith. But knowing God does what? It takes faith. Focus and following through. Jesus said that he will reward. So don't give up in your efforts to seek God. So continue to ask him for what? More knowledge. More patience, wisdom, love, and understanding. And if you believe that, you know what he'll do? He'll give it to you. He said, what he said over there in that James? Say, ask. Ask. If you ask, he said he would give it. Amen? I believe, I believe God in that, people. That's why we have to put, we put, Put your faith. I'm going to say put my, that's why I put my faith in the word of God. Now, I, I, I mean, we just got a few here. We just got a few here tonight, but I ain't worried about it. You know why I ain't worried about that? Because I heard somebody say, y'all just him. I need to hear the word myself. Amen? Amen. I need to hear it myself. Because we all have trials and we all have the tribulation. We all have this and we all have that. We say everything that can go wrong, go wrong. But that's all right. When you know the Lord, the, the earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof, and everything that dwells in and he established it upon the sea, when you know his are his, you his, right? You his. And if you his, we're going to go through, we're going to have to walk. He said, I'm going to be with you through the flood. I'm going to be with you through the fire. I'm going to be with you in the screen. So long as we're doing what we're doing, we believe in what God say. 
through faith in his word, we get a chance to grow. Because he did say in his word, he said, I'll never leave you, nor will I forsake you. Is that his word? Is that his word? Having faith in God. Letting his word, let them promise it. You know all them promises he made. He, all, I mean, we got a book, what, 66 books? And all of them, nothing but promises. And we go through what we go through because our faith is not where it is. Now, I ain't saying everybody's faith. Some, we, everybody got faith from right there to right there to right there to right there to right there. Here's where your faith is. That's what makes it. Where your faith is. Your faith, my, my, I might have a little bit. You might have a whole lot. I might believe for a Volkswagen. You might believe for a Mercedes. Amen? But there's one thing. You got, how did you get your Mercedes? You got your Mercedes by believing that it would happen. So if I keep on, my, I'm proud of my Volkswagen. I thank God for it. Amen? But now I'm going to believe him. I'm going to believe him for one of them other things. Amen? Why is you going to do that? Because I'm going to take my faith and put it in his word. Put it in God's word so I can live and I can grow. Because we are here for a reason. We ain't just here to be here. We ain't just here to be here. Amen? Amen. I'm, 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 I tell y'all, it's all right. It's all right. Let's do, let's do Jeremiah, Jeremiah 29. In 11, I think we'll wind up on 13. Jeremiah 29, 11 verse, and we're probably going to go down to 13. Amen? Y'all help me now. It says, he said, thank, I thank to war, says the Lord. I think I might have missed the word there. Amen. For I know the thoughts. Thank you, Jesus. It's good to have something you can look at, ain't it? <laughs> For I know the thoughts that I thank toward you, says who? The Lord. And thoughts of what? Peace and not of evil. To give you an expected end. My God, he know the thoughts that he have towards me. He know the thoughts he had toward you. And so he, in other words, he always got us on his mind. Amen? He got us on his, on his mind. So he got these thoughts. So in, in, his, in these thoughts, don't he know what we need? He know what we need. And he said he give us the thoughts of, he give us the thought, said the Lord, thoughts of peace. Do you know, and I'm going to say this because it was said to me, there is something about peace. Peace. Do you ever, do you, every time you sleep, you sleep in peace? All right. When you sleep in peace, you rest. You rest. I know this for a fact. When I when 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 things are are crowding, when my mind is full of this and my mind is full of that, and I go to sleep, I sleep hard, but I wake up tired. Amen. But when I give it to the Lord, huh? Every time, every when I give it to Him, when I lay down at night and I done got on my knees. And had a little talk with Jesus. Huh? When I go to bed, I go to bed. And when I sleep, I sleep. I don't toss. And the reason I, and the reason I know I don't toss, because when I wake up, my bed ain't tore up. Amen? My bed ain't tore up. It looked like all I done was crawl up, and when I get out, it looked like all I do is just fold the cover back down my bed made up. Amen? Because I had a what? A peaceful sleep. Because I did what? I give it to him before I went to bed. I laid them burdens at his feet before I went to bed. 
Lord, it's yours. You're my battle axe. You're my rescue. Amen? You're my battle axe. You're my rescue. I'm hid up under your ways, God. The almighty God. I'm up real. So why is I got to be worrying about anything else? So this is the kind of peace that, that, that he's talking about. Peace in all things. Not just some peace in all things. When relationships ain't good, you want peace in that relationship. When the kids ain't acting right, you want peace. You want peace. I do. I don't know about y'all, but I, I want peace. I want peace. Ain't nothing to get 70 years old and going through a lot of drama. When you should be at peace at this time of your lives. For the ones that's up here now. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> I'm going to say from, from 60 on up. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> we should have peace. But if you got God in your life, it don't, know, it don't matter how old you is. If you got God in your life and you believe and you trust in him and you don't give it all to him, you got peace. Say, thank you for your peace, Lord. Thank you for your peace. And then, then he said, um, he said, then the thoughts that I have for you ain't evil. How could they be evil? God thinking good? No. Not when he said, above all things, I wish you would be what? Prosper. And be in good health. That sounds good to me. That don't sound like nothing evil. Amen. 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 And then he then he going on. What that other verse say that? He said to give you an expected end. And I believe he want me. Whatever that he going to bring me to. I believe he got something for me that's beyond my imagination. Amen. Something for me that's beyond my imagination. He said expected in. If he got to expect me, I know he ain't just got a little old something right here called, I believe he's a God. I believe he's God. And I don't believe he's just going to give you just anything, although we try to give him anything. But he's not just going to give you anything. He's going to bring you to expect him. All right, let's move on. 12 says, this is the part where that, 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 that putting that faith in God, where it is. He said, then you shall call upon me, and you shall go. First of all, call upon him. <laughs> Hallelujah. Then he said, you shall go and pray unto me, and I will hearken unto you. My Lord, my Lord. You, tell, you, you know, he's he, he telling you, he said, then you shall call upon me. Well, I'm calling you, Lord. And me and him, have, we have our little talk, and y'all, you and him have y'all little talk. And uh, uh, he said, now go and pray. So I'm going and pray for whatever the situation is, or whatever I need, or whatever I need. And you, this part right here, what got me, he said, and I will hearken on to you. What do the word hawking mean? Huh? Do it mean to hold up? Huh? Do it mean he got my attention? Huh? That's what I'm saying. He hawking. I feel like he stopped and said, hey, I hear you. I hear you. Ain't that something? To have that, that in other words, to have where you can get in touch with him like that. That when you, when, you, when you have the little talk with Jesus, he hears you. And he, he holds up and, he, and he, once he hear you, once he hear you, then you can tell him what you want. Good God of mine. I, I, I'm going to leave that one alone right there. And then it says, you shall seek me. What do you mean seek me? Seek me. Find me. Search for me. Try me. Hallelujah. And he said, if you do this thing, in other words, he's saying right here, he said, you shall seek me and find me. When you search for me. That's what he's saying. When you search for me, you will find me. And the only way you're going to find him 
is you have to do it with what? A whole heart. In other words, I ain't going to let nothing separate me from getting to my God. I ain't going to let nothing separate me. I'm going to do whatever it is. Why are y'all going to do that now? Because the way I was living, the things I was doing, I'm tired now. Hallelujah. I'm tired. That's why. And then, you know, it, that's why I'm searching for him because I want to be better. The song say, I want to be like Jesus. I want to be like Jesus. Huh? I want to be able to lay in his book. I want to be able to call on him. And he hear me. I want to be able to love on him the way he loved me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's this, this one. But in order for me to get to any of that, I got to put my faith in God's word. I got to put it in his word. And when I put it there, he like say, he, what did he say? I know you. I know you before you come out your mother's womb. I knew you. I, I, you know, just to be honest, when I, was, when I was out there in the world, I, I tried to do everything in the dark. I tried to do everything in the dark. Can't nobody see you in the dark. But then when I found out, <laughs> hallelujah, when I found out, that I couldn't hide from him. Whatever I was doing, he was looking right at me. Care how dark it was. Care how dark it was. Or how bad it was, he was still looking at me. He might not have been hollering nothing, but it was wrong to him. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I believe that. I believe that today if we put our faith in God's word. Ears hadn't heard. Eyes hadn't seen what he got for each one of us. I ain't saying there ain't nobody, I ain't, I ain't judging nobody about their faith. I'm just telling you what the words say. I'm just telling you what the words say. Put your faith in God's word. Just put your faith in God's word. Amen. And this is the part I like about right here. When I done done all that, then I could talk to God. I can talk to him. Psalm 109 and 58. 58, 59. Psalms 119, 58 to 59. I think I really wrote it out another book. Oh, there it is. And it reads, 58 says, 119 and 58 says, I entreated thy favor with my whole heart. Be merciful unto me according to thy word. See, I done tell, I done, I done, I got a hold of it now. I got a hold of it. I done come to myself. I done search my ways now. I done come to myself now. I done heard the word. And I'm believing on his word. He said, according to his word. Hallelujah. See, when, when you done. When you done got that faith and you, you done growed a little bit, you know you're growing now. Because <laughs> you, know, you, you know you ain't like you used to be. Hallelujah. You know you don't talk like you used to talk. You don't act like you used to act. You don't act like the world no more. Let's just let me say it like that. You don't act like the world no more. Amen? And uh, uh, 59, 119, 59 say, all I thought, what did it say? I thought on my ways and I turned my feet unto that testimony. But I came in, in the, new, uh, the new version, international version, it said, I thought on my ways and I turned my feet unto that testimony. That was King James, the new King version says, I have considered my ways. See, I done made my mind up now. 
and turn my steps towards your statutes now, Lord. Say, I'm ready now. I, I see myself growing through my faith. I see myself growing through God's word. Amen? Amen. I see myself going through God's word. Now, 119 is 6 to say, this is the new beginning now. Since we done got the word, our word, our faith in God's word. This is the, the, this is some total of where we're trying to go. This is where we're trying to go. It says uh, 119 and 160, we got that one? Make haste and delay not. I made haste and I delayed not to keep thy commandments. You see what the word telling us? Once, once you there, once you done, you, you anchored and you done grow, you, hey, you're in a hurry now. You ain't, you ain't going to take no shortcut. You, you done delayed enough now. You want to you wanna please God in the best way you know how. And that's through his spirit. It's going to take the spirit to please him. Please him. So you're going you gonna, to you gonna keep them commandments and do as he say. Amen. Amen. The beginning. The beginning. And every one of that righteous judgment endures forever. This is what he's telling you. This is a new beginning. This is a new beginning when you when you when you done put that faith in, in the word of God and you and you begin to grow. This is a new beginning. His, in other words, you done you uh, you done committed yourself. You want to start over. You want to show where you done come up short. Now you don't come. You coming up now. Somebody say, I'm coming up now. I'm coming up now. <laughs> Amen. One of God, but you know, in order to do that, you got to believe. God word. One of God's characteristics is truthful, is truthfulness. He embodies perfect truth. Therefore, his word cannot lie. It is true and it is dependable for guidance and help. Who believe that tonight? Who believe on that tonight? God is the God that he cares for us, y'all. He cares for he don't. We don't have to go through all that we go through. All he wants us to is just to believe in him. If you believe in him, he said he will reward you. He will reward you. He will reward you for your troubles. Just believing on him. It ain't like he asking you to go where he asking you to do just what he say. He asking you to stay in his will. Stay. That's all he's doing. It ain't, ain't no big. This ain't algebra or economics or ever. This is God. With a simple message for his people. Seek first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness and all the other things will be added unto you. We have no reason to want. For the Lord is my shepherd and I shall not want. That's his word. And we don't have to worry. Because he's our rod and our staff when we're walking through the shadows. He is. So we don't have no reason, no other reason but to praise God. Hallelujah. We don't have no other reason but to praise God. Because he's got everything that we need. he got everything. He's the comforter. He's the guide. He's the light upon our path. He's our everything. And I thank him today. I, I, I just thank God for what he is and who he is in my life. Hallelujah. That's what. That's it. That's it, people. God is. God is. God is. Whatever you want God to be, he could be that. Who believe that today? Who believe that? Can he be your financer? Huh? Can he be your way maker? Your door closer? Your door opener? Hallelujah. Can he be your doctor? Your lawyer? He be whatever you want him to be. A counselor. A comforter. Lord have mercy. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. 
Thank you, oh, my Lord. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you. Hallelujah to your name. Hallelujah to your name, God. Hallelujah to your name, God. Oh, thank you, Lord God. Mm -hmm. He is y'all. He is. All we got to do is put our faith in God's word. Put it in there. You put it in there, you'll grow. Grow in his likeness. Good God Almighty. Thank you, Lord. Woo! I thank you, Lord. But then uh, we're going to do uh, one, 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 one or two more, and I'm done. I'm done. Let's do uh, Psalm 37. Thank you, 4 and 3 or 4 and 5. <sighs> thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Psalms 37, 4 and 5. Hallelujah. Faith, faith, faith. You might not have a whole lot, but just use what you got. Hallelujah. All right, we, this is where we're at now. Psalm 37, third. Psalm 37, third verse. It says, trust in the Lord and do good. So shall thou dwell in the land, and verily thou shall be fed. See, he got, he got what you need. You don't have to worry about no clothes. <laughs> if you trust him, you ain't got to worry about what you're going to eat. If you trust him, hallelujah, hallelujah. And verily thou shalt be fed. But look what he says in 4. 4 says, Delight thyself also in the Lord. And he shall give thee what? Good God Almighty. What is your desire tonight? What is your desire tonight? Is your desire to have a close to walk with God? Is your desire to love your neighbor? Is your desire is not to hold grudges no more. Is your desire not to be mean anymore. Glory to God. See, I know I ain't talking to nobody. This is going on, on. I ain't talking to nobody here. But what is your desire tonight? What is your desire? Well, whatever your desire is, see ye first the kingdom of God and all the it righteousness. And whatever you desire tonight, he said it shall be yours. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Well, I, I tell you what, I, 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 I'm all right. What about y'all? I'm all right. I'm all right. Because what has that been? What it has been? Y'all let me, let me, let me I'm, 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 I'm through, but... Man, let me tell you something. The last month, the last couple of months, all I can say, I know there's a God. I know for myself that there's a God. Because you be up and you be down. You be over yonder and over yonder. But the one thing about it, God right where you meet him at. Hit him in, he right where you meet him at.